Hello and welcome to another beautiful episode of Gatsby with WordPress. So we are learning theme development with Gatsby from scratch. In the previous video we learned about how to use Storybook for Gatsby theme. And in this video we are going to learn about how to create pages and posts uh, for your theme using the Create Page API so that the pages are built automatically at the time of the when you run the build and they're available in the cache itself when the user tries to hit your page. Okay, so how do we do this? So the first thing we want to do is write our queries. So in order for us to write our queries, uh, we can go into Graphical. So it already provides us with the Graphical Playground. Gatsby already provides us with the Graphical Playground as I've shown you in the previous videos. Now into the root of a project I will hit npm run dev and this is going to start the development server uh, using the Gatsby development command and this is going to spin up different uh, servers for us. So our graphical will be available at the localhost 8000 slash triple underscore graphical so we'll just hit that there. Okay so I'll copy this URL hit it over here and this is our graphical and then you can see that you have the HW GraphQL over here and that's the name we had provided when we had done the Gatsby config this is the name right here HW GraphQL that is my field name and so your queries will be available under that so you'll, like, you'll write like that and you'll say HW GraphQL and inside of this I'm looking for pages so in order for me to look for pages, you can see what are different options available. So you can see you have got page, page and pages available. So I'll click on that. So I've got pages. You can do conditional queries like before, after, but in my case, let's go with like first. So how many pages do I want? Uh, for my side, I'm not going to have more than like 5,000 pages. That'll be the upper limit of it. So I'll just keep 5,000. But if your site has more, you can always put like that. And then curly braces what other options do I have here so then I want all of the pages so I'll click on notes and then what do I want from this so I would like to have title I'll also go with the ID this will be actually GraphQL ID not the page ID and then I want the content I want the date so where's the date here's the date and then also want the URI so I can go ahead and hit that URI and go into that page. So URI will be somewhere here. This is the one. Then I also want the featured image. So do I have featured image? Let's take a look. F. Yep, we've got featured image. So we got that. And from featured image, I want the all text and I also want the source URL. There you go, this one. Okay, let's just hit it. See, you've got the data, you've got the blog page information, you've got all of the blocks being listed over here, right? Awesome. Now, one of the benefits of using Gatsby is that it's got some of the plugins available that helps us optimize our images. So that plugin is the Gatsby Transformer Sharp. Okay. Now, now those will be working for the default images that you have on the Gatsby. However, what about the images that are on the WordPress? How do we go ahead and ensure that they are, they are optim optimized? So for that, there is a plugin that is available and we're going to use that. So this plugin is called Gatsby Plugin GraphQL Image. What this is, does is this traverses through the GraphQL schema and source from the Gatsby source GraphQL plugin which we are using. And then it generates the notes for the Gatsby plugin shop and Gatsby Transformer Sharp. So these two plugins are the last two. This one that you see is already installed for us. All we're interested in is just the, and of course this is also installed. We just need to install this one. So how do we do that? We just go back, stop our server, and then we'll say uh, yarn workspace, and then the name of the workspace is Gatsby WordPress Themes Phoenix add Gatsby plugin GraphQL image hit enter and there you go it's installing and resolving all the packages in the meanwhile we can set it up so how do we set it up 
So I'm going to go over here and see that this is how it's set up. It requires type name, field name, and all of that stuff. I'm going to come back onto my uh, package.json. Uh, sorry, the Gatsby config. Let <coughs> me um, show you have how I have configured it. So this is it. So this is the configuration. Let's go over here, go to Gatsby config, and just paste it over here. There you go. So we've got the name of the plugin, and what is the schema name you want to give it? So we already have the schema. Uh, you know. The type name is w hw graphql so we'll just use that and what is the field name you want to give it so it's source url so we're going to use that and then once that is done we again run our server which is npm run dev and let's just make it start it okay so it's starting up the development server All right, so it's built it, and let's go back to our graphical. Let's refresh, and now you should be able to see that you've got an additional field available, and that's called source URL shop. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. So you have source shop URL, and then you have the child image shop. Then you have fluid. You want the base sixty four. source source set sizes aspect ratio and that's it and now verify it hit it so let's take a look at this page uh, you can see it has not only got the featured image for us but also the uh, source url shop and it's got something called child image shop which has got fluid so it uses the base 64 for image optimization, it uses source, source set, all of that. Okay, it's got size, aspect ratio. So these are the things that is required by the Gatsby uh, plug, Gatsby Transformer Sharp plugin uh, to make a fluid image. Okay, so we've got everything that we need over here. I think the last thing we need is basically the categories, so we can get that. So let's get five categories, not related to pages, but just in general on the website. So if you want you've got pages so you can run multiple so you just minimize this and put categories over here and again you can see that we've got categories we want the first five so basically we want this for our widget okay so first five so you have a generally have a widget on the sidebar so you're just using for that okay so I'll use edges and then node and then ID name slug URI that's pretty much it so when we run it you can see that we've got categories available as well awesome so this is what we're looking for so we've got our uh, query uh, ready and now in the next video we're going to go ahead and uh, use this query into our create pages API and create the pages dynamically okay so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already uh, make sure you give a star to my repository like this beautiful 27 people who have given me a star for to support my work okay thank you all and um, do follow me on github uh, my github handle is imran h sayad and uh, my twitter handle is Cody Tech. all right awesome so i'll see you in the next video thank you